Welcome to 5-9 Gaming, it is your boy ZVG, the free-to-play god, and today I am joined by the next free-to-play god, Azik. Say what's up, bro. Yo, what's going on, guys? Alright, before we get into this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and make sure you guys turn on your post notifications so you can never miss a video here on the 5-9 Gaming channel. But today, we're going to be doing the top 15 best free-to-play units in the game. We made a tier list um, a couple months back. Um, when Buhan came out, but today we got a lot, and I mean a lot of new free-to-play sparkings. So we're gonna be ranking them, and hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Azik, are you ready to get into it, man? Yes, sir. Are you ready? All right. So number fifteen on our list is none other than Drip Jida. This unit right here is down here because obviously you know he's old now. Um, he's been out. He's not really old, old, but like he's old, bro. Yeah. Definitely. Right, and his zero ability is his biggest strength right now, honestly. That HP zero ability is so good for Vegeta family. Like, he's gonna be a permanent bench on that team, but he's not necessarily a unit that you're gonna bring into battle per se, right? Because he just doesn't have any real tools to like help you against, you know, the top mana teams in the game, right? Yeah, especially when going against Zenkai, like he just gets obliterated. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly, you know, I mean. It's, it's to be expected because he's free, but his stats aren't all that great. His skin is just literally bare bones. And he just, oh man, that's pretty much it for this unit right here at number 15. Now moving on to number 14, we have one of the brand new free-to-play Gokus that came out. Yellow Super Saiyan Goku. The best art of the free-to-play Gokus in the game. And that's really his biggest strength too, his art. Because his skin is just <laughs> damaged and that's it. <laughs> Bardock is yeah. literally carrying this man right now, bro. Like he's, he's carrying this Goku oh, yeah. on the Super Saiyan team. Definitely. Yeah, that's the th the biggest thing too is that I truly believe that this this spot right here was like a fight between the yellow Super Saiyan Goku and then the base Goku, right? Because they both, I, I kind of feel like they both have mediocre kids. They both have mediocre Z abilities. But the difference between them is that when you put them on a team, this guy actually can go ahead and get the, reap all the benefits from Bardock's kit, right? The crit rates, all that good stuff, the damage, and just an overall better team than you would actually have from whatever team you could provide for base whether it just be um saiyan saga team which is not the best right or just regular saiyans in general so i think that's what gives this yellow super saiyan goku the edge up on that base coup yep bardock and that's really it <laughs> that, that's really it bro, honestly <laughs> yeah all right moving on we have our first ex on the list and it's actually excel now don't be mistaken bro even though that he's number 13 on the list he's still a phenomenal ex unit he has amazing debuffs amazing blast damage um he's a very good option for region and androids as well Oh yeah, definitely. I completely agree with this placing as well. You know, he does get if the key on swap in. He gets key or yeah, he gets key on swap in and stuff like that. He's he's pretty just decent overall. Yeah, he is honestly. If you don't have the free to play twenty one, this guy is a very good option um, for Androids and Region. So yeah, he's a Zenkai as well too. So obviously Zenkais are gonna be on this list because there's a lot of free to play Zenkais out right now, and they're I can tell you right now they have dominated this this tier list right now. It, it's it's sad to see, but it's what it is. We're in a Zenkai meta right now, and that's just how the game is. Honestly, oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Moving on to number twelve, the other EX EX Freeze are the same color as Cell. EX Freeze, dude. When he came out, bro, that video with him and Cooler, his blast damage is honestly frightening. I would not lie. Like oh, yeah. his best damage, honestly, fighting. He can, you know, he can damage top meta like units in the game. Like he's no such when it comes to the damage department. But obviously, his defense not all that good. I don't think he has any support either in his kit, does he? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but I don't think he does have any support no, in his kit. Obviously, sure he's not. He doesn't buff LOE either, right? He buffs no, Freezer Force, no, so yeah. Blue, I think just color. Like blue. yeah, so that's really a big, um, a big detriment to his, you know, longevity on the LOE team but oh, yeah, yeah overall he's pretty good Definitely. good blast damage zero are all that good defense is okay for zenkai i guess and yeah that's the as they have anything to say about this ex freezer yeah i think honestly too just over time like you probably he honestly might have been a bit higher on this list had it not been for the fact that loe is just in such a bad spot right now like they just are not getting the love that they deserve and so that's why you do see him kind of just dwindling down here he's kind of just dying out yeah yeah, that's that's pretty much what it is for this um, EX Freezer right now. All right, number eleven on the list. Then we're moving through this pretty quick. I mean, even though I mean, there's not really much to say about these units that are low on the list. Um, you guys already yeah. know about these units already. Um, the next unit we're gonna talk about is the next 
um one of the better if he to play goku that we got and the super saiyan god goku the green one even though he's like i feel like if he was red bro like he'd be insane with violence if he, if he was red but sadly you know they they have the god key and he's green yeah. but he's still a phenomenal unit i would say i mean when you use this guy with the saiyan character bro like he does pretty um good damage i would say pretty good damage oh yeah and he even has like kind of like a scuffed kind of version of the super saiyan blue goku the, the well the blue one right the zenkai blue one he, yeah when in terms of when he uses a card he gets like a, a damage inflicted up he gets key when he uses i he gets key and then i also do believe that he reduces the the arts card cost as well so you can yeah. definitely do a lot of good stuff with him he's pretty decent overall yeah also one thing to note is that his special move is actually pretty decent i mean he has, it, it has a 50 percent chance to cancel enemy attribute upgrades on hit which i feel like is pretty good i mean because a lot, a lot a lot of units nowadays right they have a lot of buffs and so, some of them are mostly like uncancelable so if you can land this special move off and like just cancel out their buffs like on a you know last man standing gohan or something like crazy like that that'd be pretty insane yep, but i feel like his, exactly his um special move is like okay but yeah his kids yeah i said like bootleg zenka seven super same blue goku with the restores key gets damage and minus um three to us cars for five tamacons every time he uses a strike or a blast card and he also gets 40 percent damage and 20 percent damage reduction when he comes to the battlefield and his main ability just um increases his own health and he draws a strike card next so a pretty bare bones kit i mean yep. The way these units fall short is in their stats because their stats are actually bad. Like, I was checking game press today for these guys' stats, and they're like in the 100s, but like, it's pretty bad for these units, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Not only that, yeah. not only the stats being so bad, it's just that their Z abilities are also just so damn bad because they're tied to sagas instead of just being like overall tags, right? Like, I think this Super Saiyan God Goku is tied directly to the Beerus Saga and Green. So it's kind of just very, very mediocre. Yeah, that's that's really what it is. All right, number all right, number ten right now. I think we are. Right? Yeah, um, we are number ten. So number ten on the tier list is another one of the three Goku's, and it's actually Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the purple one. I feel like this guy is definitively the best Goku out of all of them. I mean, he he's a great color for. Um, Galaki, if you have a if you have a 14 stars, he's a very good replacement for UI Goku. Um, he has support capability in his kit. He gives damage, um, key recovery and crit rate on swap out, and he also has 90% blast damage inflicted when he enters the battlefield. But that's a lot. Okay, for a free to play oh, sparking, 90% yeah. blast damage inflicted is a lot. Um, reduces damage by 30% for 15 timer counts, bro. That's crazy. And his main ability also heals him um so yeah bro he's like he's honestly his kids is pretty bare bones but on god key works extremely well because obviously god key has vados you know to help out with the healing the damage and all that good stuff but yeah with with these units fall, fall short especially in the gokus the zbs are just trash all around dude like buffing sagas is not the way to go i have no idea why they did this but it's just not it like barely anyone on god key is gonna be getting um the zb right here so i have no idea why yeah. they, they did this for the Gokus, but other than that, he's pretty decent for Garki. Um, as you have anything yeah. you want to say about this um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku right here? The only thing I do want to go ahead and touch on is the reason why I actually do believe that this guy would be put over the Super Saiyan God Goku is because of the fact that even though, yes, their Z abilities are kind of tragic, but this Super Saiyan Blue Goku is tied to the Resurrection Frieza saga, so he is actually going to be able to buff the Zenkai Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So if you go, if you have Vados, you have a pretty decent free to play God Key team right there. Yeah, honestly, that, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly bro exactly but yeah the z ability issue with these units suck but it just, it just is what it is at this point right we can't yeah we can't change what happened so yeah all right now that we hit number 10 let's let's move on bro so the number nine unit on this series is a very recent um free to play unit zenkai 7 spray bomb goku now his kid when you look at it it's like it's a little bit chunks of you know good stuff and bad stuff i feel like the, this unit really lacks damage, but his, his defense is where he really, he really, um, he's really good at, right? Because he has mm -hmm. 180,000 plus strike and blast defense while also having cover change with a 40% cover cut. That's honestly pretty good for a free to play unit right there. He's going to be tanking yep. a lot of hits, right? Oh, yeah. And he, he also has Death Boss 2, which is always nice. I mean, expect. 
yeah yeah and he does give death buffs as well so that's always welcome um death buffs are pretty good even though you lose a unit you still gain something in return right and that's always nice but yeah exactly. as i said before his defense is his main strong point the damage is lacking a bit but other than that he's pretty good um you do see see when he comes to the battlefield at 20 percent when there are three bad members remaining pretty good stuff right there but yeah other than that he's pretty good the defense is good damage is okay um his green card and special move are nothing crazy regular same old same old and his zero ability sucks but it is what it is right <laughs> he both element yeah. blue and episode freezer saga like <sighs> why man why yeah <laughs> and his base his base zero ability also sucks too because he only gives um saying base strike defense 25 percent at 14 stars that's pretty yeah. terrible yeah you have anything you want to say um about this unit azik uh, I think the only thing too, a lot of people just basically kind of just jumped the gun on him or was just like, this guy's just dead on arrival, right? He doesn't have a great Z ability. And then plus he's going to have to compete with the the army of blue Saiyans that we have. We have a lot of really, really yeah. good blue Saiyans. So I think that's why yeah. this is a fair placement for him. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, The number eight unit on this is actually Zenkai 7 Kid Goku. Now it's unsurprising surprising how this guy said like the top 10 free to play units even though it came out like what a year or so ago like a year a couple of months ago yep like march but yeah this guy last year, dude. the reason why we have him over the zenga 7 spirit bomb goku is because ju just because he has more damage and he also has endurance too so he can you know be defensive as well and his green card is okay even though it's kind of like easy to counter nowadays but overall he has endurance mm -hmm. good strike damage um a strong ultimate and yeah he has support as well too so that's always nice and yeah he's just a great all-rounder for a free to play unit um as well what do you exactly. think about the legends road zenkai 7 Goku being at number eight on the list i think this is once again another very fair placement especially because of the fact like how you said he is on the legends road tag legends road tag um ultimately is going to get better and better right i think right now as of right now um, you can basically be breaking 4,000 ability bonus with that team. And then plus we are still missing two Zenkais. So you never know. They, they actually could possibly climb the ladder in terms of this. He can not, the thing with this Goku too, is that like some of the other Legends Road units, he's not pigeonholed just into the Legends Road team. He can fit like on a free to play Saiyans team, stuff like that. I've seen him on a lot of wonky teams, right? Because like you said, he is, he was like the original Jack of all trades for Dragon Ball Legends yeah back in the day you know way back <laughs> when but yeah but yeah man that's pretty much it for the goku right here nothing really much else to say at number seven we have the highest ex unit on the list right now the recent ex future gohan zenkai 7 this one man people are sleeping on this man but like he's a tank he has good damage he he, he just what his team needs right he, future and hybrids need a tanky green unit and he just fits that role incredibly well um even though he does need a trunks to actually be good because if you don't have a trunks with this guy then his damage is just absolutely atrocious honestly but yeah. with a trunks bro like his damage <laughs> is actually pretty good his defense is good and er everything about him is just nice right his stats pretty is good just overall a phenomenal unit what do you think guys yeah yeah, I, like how you said, if you're running him alongside of Trunks, like you're going to get some really good results from him. I think when this guy first dropped, the first team that I actually put him on was like with the Trunks in my assist unit as well as the Purple Vegeta. And, you know, it's just the amount of support that this guy gets from that is just absolutely insane. On top of the, um, the added bonuses he gets from just having Trunks on the team, he does have that team heal for future, I believe it is. And so it's just, you know, he does a lot of good stuff. He has like the cover cut. It just just basically he he does a lot for being an ex units like he really impressed me and i do think a lot of people sleep on him i low-key forget that he does have a team here and that team is right there but like it's no one else on future or hybrid has a team here right so him having that is honestly pretty good i mean increases the, the survivability of your team overall and he's just phenomenal mm -hmm. man i really 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 like what he did with this um ex zenka right here oh yeah definitely all right, we're, we're close to that top five mark. We're close to that top five mark. Number six on the list before we get hit, head into the top five is Zenkai 7 Kamikado. This unit right here is just... Dude, I have no idea what is up with 
this game and just having Piccolo's being yellow for region. We have ZKSM Piccolo, we have ZKSM DKP, and now we have this guy here, which is a free to play Zenka yellow for the region team. I mean, obviously, this guy is not yep. really a damage yep. dealer or like a tank, but his support capabilities for the team is where he truly shines. Um, he gives them death buffs. Oh, yeah. Um, he oh, supports yeah. him with the main ability, all that good stuff. So it's overall just a support unit for the team. And they've also given him some extra forms of damage. Um, because that was one of his weaknesses when he didn't have a Zenkai. That he, he couldn't really do damage. But now he can. So he can do damage while also supporting the team. Now he can tank a bit because obviously the Zenkai stats have high defense. But overall, he's a very good free to play option for the region team. As he's going to talk more about um, coming along. For Kamikula, I honestly, I'm really, really impressed with this guy when he released as well. I think this is like one of the few Legends Road units that actually can perform well outside of Legends Road. Like he actually does really, really good on regeneration if you do not have either the other Zenkai 7 Piccolos, right? I think that's um, kind of like the double-edged sword that he has going on right there. His we his biggest weakness is that on regeneration, he does have better units to go ahead and put up besides himself. But if you don't have those better units, this guy is going to fit perfectly well. He's going to be like one of those missing puzzle pieces to complete like a pretty good free-to-play regeneration team like you can run this guy you can run the free-to-play android 21 and you could possibly run the fat boo because you can get his zenkai for free from the rush shop right yeah and with that that's pretty much it for kamikolo now we're getting into the top five free-to-play units in the game right now and at number five we have the little man himself the show off Zenkai 7 Green Gotings. This dude is a tank god. Make no mistake, yes, bro. Sir. This guy can tank any and everything. And honestly, his damage is honestly pretty frightening at times too, because he has the card draw speed. He has, you know, the card reload. And, and he just. His damage honestly shocks me every time I fight him, but like he does good damage. He has phenomenal tanking. And yeah, he's overall just annoying. Honestly, like he just literally an annoying um you need to go up against as what are your thoughts on go tanks being at number five on the tier list well kind of just segueing off of what you said right here dude go tanks on legends road is just absolutely terrifying the amount of tanking like it just feels like when you go against legends road like i understand that legends road isn't the best team in the game but they definitely are extremely beefy especially if you have the stars on them you have all the zenkais you're getting all the zenkai buffs a go tanks is going to be able to go ahead and eat a majority of anything that comes his way and even if he does get hit by a rush and you actually are scared that you're not going to be able to eat it um, more than likely you're going to have kid goku to go ahead and be able to eat it for you and just you know he's going to have that endurance factor it's just it's pretty nasty what he can do he can even fit on pretty well on a fusion warriors team he could eat well i mean i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to go ahead and just want gogeta over him obviously gogeta definitely is better but he can fit that role still there he can also fit that role on hybrids as well if need be yeah he's pretty good on fusions and hybrids as well not just legends jordan but honestly this guy's just a beast man honestly like he was underrated when he came out as well as green body but now that we've taken into account just how annoying the tanky these units are they're actually pretty phenomenal fighters but um moving oh, up yeah. the list we have we have we have we have the first ultra unit to exist in dragon ball legends the man himself the super saiyan filled with rage ultra goku at number four and this guy man bardock is carrying him i'm, I'm just playing but honestly I feel like I feel like um Bardock is a big contributor to his placement on the list, obviously. <laughs> I mean he's he's a super saint, so obviously Bardock will have some influence where he's placed, but overall animations, fire. Um his his strike damage, fire, his best damage, good. His um green card is okay. His ultimate is just is just a lot of damage. Right? His special move could be a bit better. The animation is kinda like trash. But other than that, good unit. Um, his ultra ability is good, 90% damage just for ex existing on a Saiyan team. Now I do hope, I do wish that they did, you know, put in some support for this guy for the other Saiyan members, right? But other than that, he's pretty good. Um, nothing really much to oh, say yeah. about him. Um, his defense is not all that too great. Obviously, I don't think he has any damage reduction at all. I'm not sure on that, but um, overall, an okay unit. Bardock is carrying him. As you go, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Uh, again, I think this is the <laughs> you basically pretty much covered everything But he's kind of has like the yellow Super Saiyan Goku effect right there where it just the fact that he can be ran on 
a Super Saiyan team alongside Bardock is going to give him some value. And on top of that, he has a Z ability that's going to benefit Saiyans overall, right? I think he gives like 28% to strike attack and defense. And that's not bad at all, especially because considering the fact that you can get this guy to 14 stars, he might feel a little bit papery in terms of defense. But, you know, overall, he does offer a lot of really, really good stuff. He can do a lot of good damage alongside that Bardock. And, you know, I definitely do think he's deserving of top four right here. Yeah, honestly, that's exactly um, how I feel as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Ultra Goku being at number four. And number three, the top three. Z oh, wait. <laughs> the top three free to play units. I was just about to say Zenkai units, and then there are Zenkais anyway. <laughs> but yeah, the top three free to play units in the game. At number three, we have Zenkai 7 Green Broly. Bro, this man right here. On a Super Saiyan team, bro, make no mistake, this man will destroy you. His damage is crazy on Super Saiyan, mainly to Bardock, of course. But just his tank, like, he's literally a more annoying go things. He has the barrier, um, yep. the strike cover change, the insane defense, the special move, um, it does a lot of damage. And overall, he's just a phenomenal unit on the Super Saiyan team. Now, on movies, he's kind of trash because he does need some damage and Bardock amplifies it for him. So I super say it's his best team, but overall he's a great unit. One of the best tanks in the game, a good damage dealer, and he's just overall annoying. Um, as you want to oh, give yeah. your thoughts on this unit right here? I, I think right here, we are basically giving you guys the blueprint for a Super Saiyan's team. If you are a, a Super Saiyan main on a budget, you know, you just go ahead and hash out those crystals for Zenkai 7 Bardock, and then boom, build your way up to Z7 Green Broly, go ahead and farm up your Ultra Goku, and you're good to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is, man. But Green Broly, bro, like, he's just so good. Honestly, one of the most underrated yep. units in the game right now. When Even when he came out, he was underrated, and he's underrated to this day. He's just phenomenal, man. Honestly. Yep. And at number exactly. two, you guys, part guys already, I know you guys already know who's number two and number one. It hasn't changed whatsoever. The number one and two units. Super Saiyan Blue Goku Zenkai 7. At number one, and at number two, we have Blue Android 21. Now, the reason why Super Saiyan Blue Goku is at number one, obviously, he does more damage than 21. I feel like he's, he's a better tank than 21 as well. And he also has some support in his kit, even though he's not as potent as 21s. But he still does support the team um, with every strike or blast outside that he uses. And overall, he's just like, he's just insane. He just, he, that's, that's the only word I can explain for this guy, right? At the beginning of the match, yep. he's a tank god. When the match goes on, he becomes an offensive god. I mean, like, a last man standing Goku with his main ability and the green cards, dude. Woohoo! You, you yeah. do not want to mess with this guy whatsoever. So, and 21, obviously, you know, Android 18's best friend. A lot of support for that um, unit right there. She has okay damage, good tanking, good support, and just overall a compact unit, right? She does everything, and she, she doesn't really excel at um one thing, right? But yeah, I just feel like exactly. Super Saiyan Blue Goku edges her out in just in, in terms of damage and defense, he just has her beat. Oh, Every yeah. day of the Definitely. week. Every day of the week. Exactly. Yeah, I think when we first made the other free to play tier list, I actually placed 21 above Super Saiyan Blue Goku because I truly thought that she had she just had more teams available to her at the time. But you know, as time has went on, 21, you definitely if you ever come into a point where you're running androids or you're running regeneration and 21 somehow ends up being your last man standing units then you're screwed like you're just pretty much screwed like she's not really going to put out the damage especially late game when she loses her card draw speed the best thing that she really is there for is to go ahead and do everything else right she wants to go ahead and put all the debuffs on the enemy she wants to go ahead and um swap into another character so they can go ahead and take advantage of all that as well as getting the support getting the enhanced blue cards and stuff like that and then whereas super saiyan blue goku like how zvg how you were saying is that the, the the defense at the very beginning of the game is absolutely ridiculous and it can be so crippling and then the damage at late game again is just insane right so i, I definitely do agree with this placement now that time has passed on i definitely have to go ahead and give super saiyan blue goku this number one spot yes sir i'm glad that you finally came around to your senses as it's about time man but <laughs> <laughs> With that said, guys, this is our top 15 best free to play units in the game. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments, anything you guys want to say about the list, do you agree, do you disagree, let us know in the comments down below. 
and yeah let us know do you guys um lack like with hit play units are headed right now in the current meta obviously most of the top units the top hit to play units are zenkai's and it's understandable i feel like everyone in the top 10 is a zenkai except uh, the super saiyan blue goku <laughs> everyone else is a zenkai and also ojo goku as well too but he's you know an outlier right he's ultra but um yeah hopefully yeah. you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did make sure you guys like subscribe share comment all that good stuff and this is zvg the free to play god signing out with azik the other free to play god and we'll catch you guys in the next final gaming video peace out and one love guys laters